What up, YouTube? My name is Cherise. Welcome to Reese TV. Glad that you're here. This is my Legends of Tomorrow Leviathan review. I'll be reviewing this with my usual OMG moments. Just be careful with spoilers if you have not seen this episode. OMG moment number seven. Rip has tried at least twice to save his family. And he has come to the conclusion that time wants his family dead. Now, I know that this answers the question as to why didn't Rip go and try to save his family before Savage got to his family? But now I have another question. Why did he assemble the legends? I mean, I get that it's to stop Vandal Savage, but wasn't saving your family a part of the to-do list? OMG moment number six, Hawk Girl's mace or Carter's mace? I mean, did anyone else notice that Carter had this mace? Because I sure didn't. I mean, between Arrow, the Arrow Flash crossover, and this show, when did he swing that thing? I mean, I know that it's in the promo pictures, but when did he actually use it? And you're telling me that it's been around all this time and Hawk Girl has just been using her hands. Now, everyone knew that Hawk Girl would have to turn the bracelet into her signature mace. Now, if you did not know that Hawk Girl had a signature mace, now you know. But the question was how when the bracelet was clearly not enough material to make a full mace. And the writers of LOT come up with the bright idea of coating Carter's mace with the remnants of Hot Girl's bracelet. Genius! OMG moment number five. Savage has a daughter and the legends unknowingly kidnap her? Now, before she was revealed as being her daughter, who else was saying to themselves, lover, 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 daughter? Well, if this is his daughter, where the heck is her mother? Well, it turns out that her mother died in the very virus that she believes that Perdecadon released, which Snart eventually tells her that it was actually her father that released the virus. And now Savage's daughter is on Team Legends. Yay. OMG moment number four. Savage has a giant Adam robot. Now, before I go any further, did anyone else get to ride the King Kong ride at Universal Studios Florida while it was still up? Because that is what this scene reminded me of. I mean, this thing swipes at the Wave Rider and then throws it while the legends and the refugees are all in it. OMG moment number three, Ray gets Huge. Okay, I know that this is what the show was building up to when it introduced a 200 foot tall robot and it's awesome, but couldn't Ray have dismantled this robot from the inside by becoming small? And what's up with the slow fighting? I mean, by how slow that they were moving, you would think that they were on the moon or that they were under the Pilgrim's witch time power again. I mean, if the robot was actually moving that slow when stepping on the refugees earlier, I know it sounds heartless, but those refugees deserve it. I mean, there was no way that they couldn't have gotten out of the way of being stepped on. And after that comment, I'm pretty sure that there's somebody that's going to be at the comment section telling me how this is actually possible. And I actually embrace that. If you actually have an answer for me, Definitely tell me about it in the comment section. OMG moment number two. Carter is one of Savage's soldiers. Turns out that Savage found him and then brainwashed him as a precaution. You know, before Carter can become a fully realized Hawkman so that Savage can actually kill him and become stronger. I mean, Savage didn't want that. And I guess that we can throw out the theory that both Hawkmen have to die in order for them to reincarnate. But what are the rules exactly? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if there is another Hawk Girl. And LLT excuses it saying that Hawk Girl has been out of the timeline so long that her reincarnated version was born. And OMG moment number one, Kendra cannot kill Savage because Savage hypnotized Carter and Savage is the only one who knows the trigger word to bring Carter back. Now, because of how chatty it was revealed that Savage was to his daughter, I really doubt that he was the only one. But that, of course, is not where LOT wants to go. Now we have a detained Savage, a Carter who doesn't remember who he was, and the last piece to the long-awaited and very forced love triangle. 
Yay. And that's where I'll end this review. Tell me, what did you think about this episode? Let's talk nerdy about it below. If you like this video, please give this video a like and a share. I make a video every week, so please subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye-bye.